I'm explaining the hashtag duck ch9 bk let me repeat it's duck ch9 bank bk so what you're avoiding is chapter 9 bankruptcy which is startup bankruptcy chapter 9 of my book is entrepreneurship so you're avoiding entrepreneurship bankruptcy hashtag duck ch9 bk when you're a startup you don't file traditional chapter 7 or chapter 11 bankruptcy. You're filing a uh, more special form of, of going out of business, which is called assignment for benefit of creditors. Assignment for benefit of creditors. And what that does is that enables you to do a special, specialized form of going out of business, which still stinks because you still want to avoid ABC. So you really want to duck ABC, but ABC kind of doubles as American born Chinese. So that was confusing. That's why I went with duck CH9 BK and that hashtag uh, itemizes all the tips, strategies, techniques, and ideas to try to get your startup to not have to go bankrupt. Bankruptcy ruins your credit. And when your credit is ruined, that's what duck nine, my company that I make money with does is you want to avoid nines on your credit report. Similarly, you want to duck chapter nine bankruptcy, hashtag duck CH9 BK. The key to, to your startup doing well is an extrapolation of this genius book. It's called Cross the Chasm. And Cross the Chasm has a concept that has not been publicized. And that's called Cross the Chasm from the right. Cross the chasm from the right. There's a hashtag for that. CTC FTR. The initials for cross the chasm from the right. So that's a sub hashtag to duck CH9 BK. Cross the chasm from the right allows you to gain adoption and sell into mainstream. And there's a 35 step tactical recipe and protocol that I've outlined in CTC FTR. In some of the fundamentals of ducking nines, which I have a ton of experience doing, is the concept of 1111, which is ones or on time payments. This applies to entrepreneurship because you want to build miniature wins when you're teetering on bankruptcy. Most people, when they're teetering on startup bankruptcy and trying to duck CH9 BK, they are actually trying to hit a home run when the probability of hitting a home run is nearly near zero. So you wanna start building small, small things that you can, do, you can do immediately, which I've documented inside the hashtag DuckCH9BK. Avoiding startup death, avoiding startup death spiral is, is what you're trying to do. And when I'm talking about avoiding startup death spiral, there's a sequence of four bitlies that you wanna write down, bitly being a short, short code URL and that's bit.ly bit.ly slash this is avoiding startup death spiral grab a pen avoiding startup death spiral bit.ly bit.ly slash s blank seven one zero that's introducing the concept of startup death spiral let me repeat bit.ly slash s blank s steve blank seven one zero and then the following one is bit.ly slash s blank 711 and it goes to 713. What kills the majority of startups is lack of growth and when the funding runs out there's just no shot at you doing well. So when you're talking about growth the the protocol that no one adheres to because it's too menial is EU TWM PPM. I'm not going to repeat that. You're going to have to press rewind on this YouTube. Just kidding. E U T W M P P M. E U T W M P P M. It should scare you that I memorize those random things. And that's because I say it a lot because it works every time. Oh, all I do is regurgitate mentors. So, uh, Duck CH9 BK, that's from Marty Pitchinson. Uh, Duck 9, that's from Jerry Detweiler. E U T W M P P M. 
uh, Duck CH9 BK, those are from Mark McCormack in addition to 33 other signature business recipes. And when I'm saying I regurgitate mentors, that's because I'm a really, really good mentee. You can get it directly from them. Marty Pitchinson, Jerry Detweiler, Mark, well, Mark McCormack via book because he's passed away. But those three is a triumvirate of awesome mentors. I was given a giant IQ so that way your startup, okay, wouldn't die. I know that sounds kind of douchey, but it's true. I mean, I'm not super genius because of no reason. I'm genius because there is a reason, and that's to help your startup not die. Look, a civil war. Startups die when there's a minimal amount of resources and they're all not going in the same direction. So internal civil war, internal strife. And this isn't just between co-founders or between your team because that's hopefully you've been able to iron out. A lot of that internal civil war is between your own ears. And you want to congruently lop off. If you've got an IQ of like 180, 250, or in my case 288, you want to lop off 200 of your IQ points. You want to operate a business with 88 IQ points. You just want to focus on using just a little tidbit of your brain to just constantly say the same things over and over, like, oh, make on-time payments, oh, UTWM PPM. 98 to 99.5% of the population literally is incapable of starting not only a startup, but they just can't run a business or let alone start a business let alone be a decent employee I know I say these things that seem outrageous but when you see it from my perspective you see that starting a business is actually not that hard I know that's sacrilegious but that's why I've outlined three mentors and all their capability rests and helps your momentum so there's a bunch of things to avoid in avoiding startup bankruptcy. I wish pizza and Sinicate signs didn't work so well, but you know what? They really work great. Slices of pizza at a conference or a confab or a uh, party. That's what happens when you're trying to get conversions and trying to, to get adoption for your product. Maybe people don't care about your innovation, but they care about a slice of pizza. They don't care about your innovation, but they care about what you're doing to help people network uh, by doing a walk, tap water and pizza after party right by the hotel bar that's in the convention center. I know. I say this stuff all the time. EUTWM PPM.